tingling with excitement. Are you ready for some hot lawn mowing action? Check it out. We're here with Adrenaline TV. I'm here with my beautiful co-host at the first International Riders Cup for Lawn Mower Racing. We're with two-time national champion Kevin Penny. Hi, Kevin. How you doing? But we see you have uh, this machine with us. Yep, this is the Factory Experimental Class, which is one of the faster classes. How fast can this one go? Um, 60 something. 60. You have to build them according to the rules. You have to use an original lawnmower, and you have to use a lawnmower type engine. So are you ready? Are you pumped? Oh, absolutely. We've been in the gym, in the bar. We've been everywhere. <laughs> you have been in the bar also? Yeah. Unfortunately, we spent more time in the bar than we did the gym, but not to worry. So you have to wear all this. This is heavy. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, protective gear. You have to have clothes, shoes, uh, gloves. I wear a chest protector and some other stuff, mm -hmm. like motocross. Do they still have some blades in them since it's lawnmowers? No blades, that's no one blades. of the rules. Okay. Does anybody ever get injured? Eh, not really. <laughs> you, kind of, you kind of bounce off the ground. that the Americans might have come up with lawnmower racing before the British. We don't think so. Either. We started in 1973. They started in 1992. Who's heard it from the British? We were sitting around in a local pub, like you do in England. We were talking about the uh, horrendous cost of motorsport in all shapes and forms, and that was in the early 70s. Someone said, why don't we start a new one, something that hasn't been done. We thought that was a good idea. We had a few more beers. And then somebody said, look, of all the countries in the world, England has more gardens, and all the gardens have lawns, and all the lawns have lawnmowers. So we put a notice in the pub saying the first British Grand Prix for lawnmowers will be held in so-and-so's field next Saturday. And something like 50 or 60 of them turned up. And they all thought it was a tremendous idea. We all went to the pub and had a few more beers. Groovy, baby. Bruce, tell me a little bit about this. Well, Heather, we started here in the States on April Fool's Day, 1992, and we borrowed it from the British Lawnmower Racing Association, the BLMRA. We announced the formation of the U.S. Lawnmower Racing Association, and it was rock and mow ever since. What are some of the strategies of winning this race? Can you give me, like, three things that you need to remember? Well, uh, you need a sense of humor, because it is lawnmower <laughs> racing, and uh, preparation is a big part of it. I go over the machine, and you got to really think when you're out there racing. There's a lot of people, a lot of traffic, so I kind of hang back and learn how they're going to drive and then go for it. Does it require a lot of physical? Oh, big time. Like steering and taking those is, corners fast? Is, it wants to tear you off. <laughs> as long as that motor's running, I, my job is to hold on to that steering wheel. Tell me about the Gs. How many Gs are we pulling out there on the course? Ah, four in the corner. Well, is there any women doing this sport? Yep, there's a few women that get out there, and I tell you what, they keep up with the rest of us. <laughs> yes. nice. They raise yeah. the men. They raise yep. the men. That's awesome. So, Kevin, I've heard about this Le Mans thing going on. Exactly what is that? I heard it's an yeah. England tradition. We borrowed that start from the English. Uh, basically, the machine is on one side of the track, we're on the other, ready mm. to go with me shaking and everything. <laughs> and uh, you only have like a, a second and a half to get across the track. And, some of these guys can run. Ready, steady,
motion. 